Hi guys, how are you doing? Senio Gaming here and in today's episode I'm bringing you Blade Idol and I'll be talking Skill Transcend. So if you Blade Idol player or perhaps Idol Gamer, then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. And if you enjoy what you see then smash this like button as well. Right then guys, so with the latest update we had a quite big, big things coming and we're talking here about further upgrades to our skills, which means that we can grow even stronger. So I'm not going to waste anybody's time and let me exactly tell you what I mean. So you're going to head over to obviously growth section here on the main menu on the bottom and then third tab skill. So, so far you could upgrade your skills all the way to level 7. I'm still sort of farming two more uh, skills to be on level 7 and obviously that's the god, the strongest skills. I'm still missing just a few of the books to get them out there. And as you probably have already noticed, my Summon Tornado already got that very first red star. Which means this skill has been already powered up and I'm getting certain perks associated with. So what I want to address today is exactly tell you how you can transcend aka power up your skills, what you need in order to do so, and then we're gonna run quickly through every single skill and I tell you exactly what you're gonna get, what bonuses you're gonna get by powering them up, and also what additional effects you're gonna get by transcending them all the way to level 7. Right, so the first things first, in order to power up skill, obviously you need a following material as you see to be used. So when it comes to books itself, apart the god one which I showed you, I still struggle a little bit with the volumes, you should have more than enough books to do it. And obviously when it comes to the secondary resource, this is a brand new resource which has been only introduced. And in order to get it, you actually need to unlock stage 3550. And once you do it, if I'll show you exactly what I mean, if I'll flick back to a stage, I'm currently grinding a chapter 37, but if I get to level 35, you can see in the background there is a brand new chest which has been introduced. So now obviously flicking back to inventory and then supplies, as you see I'm talking about this very first chest. So the material aka resource I'm talking here is a moonstone, and this great moonstone chest will provide exactly that. So I've got three now farmed and all you need to be aware, this is gonna be a very very long grind. So this chest is actually even rarer than your seal chest ever been. So there is quite a lot of patience involved now to start leveling up your skills. So I've got these very free, let me pretty much open them, and this is pretty much the volumes you can expect. So at the moment I'm getting pretty much between 150 to 200 on average. Obviously you can get that lucky chest where it is gonna be multiplied. Right, so let's get that out of the way, and we're gonna now return to a skills itself. So again, growth and a skills. So I'm going to obviously kick off now with a skills and tell you exactly what you can expect from these bonuses. Right, so let me start with a summon lighting and obviously I'm going to talk about free perks as well as effects. So when it comes to perks, we're going to increase our damage, we're going to increase our heat and we're going to increase our range. And when it comes to obviously effects itself, we're talking here about penetration and critical damage. Right, so let me start now with a summon lighting, we're gonna go through perks and obviously effects itself. So when it comes to upgrading between 1 to 5 stars, we're gonna increase our damage, we're gonna increase number of hits from 5 to 7 and we're also gonna increase our range. When it comes to effects, as you see, penetration and critical damage. Moving into chain dash, we're gonna increase our damage speed increase and number of hits from 7 to 9, but when it comes to effects, we got, uh, we're gonna increase accuracy and super critical damage. Moving into Crescent Moon Slash, and we're gonna increase damage twice and also unlock a secondary hit, but when it comes to effects, we increase in skill attack and critical damage. Now moving into Charge Boom, very similar to a previous skill, we increase in damage twice and unlocking a secondary hit, but when it comes to effects we increase in penetration and super critical damage. Now moving into a blasting wheel, where we're gonna increase our damage, then increase number of hits from 10 to 13, and back to increasing damage. When it comes to effects, again skill attack and super critical damage. Moving into a reckless blast, and very similar to a previous one, where we increase first damage, but then rather than hits we increase a range, 
to then finally top up more damage increase when it comes to effects, accuracy and hyper critical damage. Now moving into a gravity hole, this is where the first upgrade will increase number of hits from 5 to 7 and then we're gonna increase range following up with some more damage. When it comes to effects, we got here skill attack and critical damage. Moving into Tornado, which I have managed to squeeze one level already, so I'm increasing number of hits from 20 all the way to 25, then increasing damage to finally increase a travel speed. And when it comes to effects, we're increasing here skill attack and critical damage. Space Field will increase number of hits on a first level of Transcendence, so 32 all the way to 35, then range and also damage increase, and then when it comes to effects, we've got a super skill attack, also as super critical damage. Moving into Phantom Blade, and we also increase in hits 13 all the way to 15, then we increase damage, and then to reduce attack time, which pretty much we're gonna cast this skill faster. And then also when it comes to effects, super skill attack as well as super critical damage. First god one, which is obviously rain of sword, and we're talking here about increased range, increased number of hits all the way to 28, and final increasing more damage. Similar to the previous one, we also increase in super skill attack, but this time we increase in hyper critical damage. And the very last one, Piercing Blade will increase damage twice and also reduce attack intervals, which means hits are done much faster. And similar to a previous one, Super Skill Attack and a Hyper Critical Damage. And that's all your active skills, now I'm gonna head over to a passive. And with passive skills there is no extra skills that are gonna be unlocked every single level, but as you see you're gonna boost a main stat pretty much like in this particular case we're gonna increase our HP, but also we're gonna have our effects and we're talking here skill attack and critical damage. Then we're moving into a sword mastery and in here we're gonna increase further attack as well as effect of skill attack and super critical damage and then finally land on this normal hit upgrade which I have managed to squeeze also a first transcendent level and in here there is no increase when it comes to normal hit but obviously increase on effects as well and we're talking here skill attack and a hyper critical damage. So that will be it guys, obviously what I encourage you to do is just go ahead and upgrade skills that you're currently using, pretty much you know all the skills that you're potentially using for grinding or pushing up stages, unless you're talking about skills which can boost your accuracy or penetration, if you're missing this stat, then I'll definitely encourage you to look closely and start the leveling those up as a priority. So that will be it, I definitely wish you happy happy grinding and farming as there is plenty to do to start unlocking this very new content of the game. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, if you have then you know what to do, smash this like button, subscribe to the channel and as always I will see you next time.